in this video we're gonna be looking at sessions now session is um another super global variable just like the underscore server and uh, dollar underscore post and get but session are used to store user data in the server and um it's kind of very important especially when you're doing something like um a login or registration page or let me say a login page that uh, prompts the user to log in if the details are correct so let's look at how we can work with sessions i'm gonna um, do a save as here call this session the php and i'll do a change here session here and i'll also have to remove this okay now the session uh, variable is written as dollar underscore session like this and now let's see how we can use this to accomplish one or two things in this video okay now let's assume we have some specific data in a let's say our database like a user id the name and uh, some private data and you want to start up a session for a particular user for instance and uh, you happen to say session start now to declare the session or to start the session you have to say session start like this okay now to start the session you start it like this you say session start like that and uh, you put a bracket and next in line you have to declare the session that you starting or opening Oh no, let's just let's just do it like this. Now let's don't assign it to a variable. Let's just say we're assigning the username to a name. Let's just say a name called datums. Okay, and we started our session, and we want to see how this works. Now we're going to open another page right here. Uh, let me just copy this and uh, paste it here. Now I will call this view.php. Let me call it view.php. And now what we want to do is on a normal node, you're supposed to echo or include rather, you're supposed to include the session.php in the view.php so that has to bring everything from here into this place but it don't work like that with sessions instead since you start up a session you have to call on the session start here okay let's say session start and then you call on the particular session that you want to start now we want to echo it now echo session the Della underscore session and we wrote username now let's see how that's gonna work let's go to a browser go localhost and the first file we're going to view there is session.php here now when we click on this you discover that nothing happens and um that is to say the session has been set okay so let's go back and view our session and see now you discover that this have what been this is now displaying now had it been this right here the session.php was not said then this wouldn't have came out to be anything okay so that is how sessions have been said now in a real sense you might say um if let's let's put that in an if else statement now let's say if we'll put this in the bracket now if session username or let's say if it's set okay let's see if it's set and um put that right there now if it's set we want to echo something want to echo let's say welcome to 
welcome to our website for instance or welcome to our platform okay now if it's not said we'll have to introduce an else statement there now if it's not said then we'll echo something else let's say we'll echo please login please login now let's check that and see how it works now since we've already set the session right here in the other form or in the other script rather the session.php now this will set the session and then when you click on view.php and when you go to view.php then it welcomes you what to the platform so that is how the session um, variable works uh, take a very good look at it and um, know how it works I'll see you in the next video